Valentine's Day is over and so are these nails. Hello stranger, it's been a minute since we last kissed. By the way. Hello lovelies, welcome back to another Nine Lux Nails video. Today my client is coming in to remove her Valentine's freestyle that we did and now we are just doing her fill-in. I have gone ahead and removed the old design as well as prepped and primed her nails so that we are ready to go right in and do this fill-in. I am using the same acrylic that I applied for her initial set which is the Cover Nude Blush by Mia Secret and I am using the dehydrator primer and monomer as well. I did go ahead and remove all of the shine from her natural nails as well as the remaining acrylic and now we're just going in with very small beads and filling her in and get doing a little rebalancing sometimes the nails do um just reshape themselves somehow with work this is a brighter client so she does work with her hands and she's always in water so i'm just making sure to get her that shape and stability back so that she can continue to service her clients and still look like a baddie so i'm just going to go in and just rebalance these nails where i see fit and then we will go in and begin doing our design if it's any questions comments or concerns that you ladies would like to know then be sure to leave them in the comments below but i'm just going to zip it and let you watch me do this fill in really really quick and then we'll go in with the design Also, as you may notice, I am not using very large beads. I'm only using enough acrylic to make sure that they are filled in and still look like the same quality. So I won't go in at the cuticle area with a very large bead because that will create bulkiness and we don't want bulkiness to the nails. We just want to fill them in and get them back to the original shape. So. Be mindful that I'm using very, very small amounts of acrylic and allowing it to fill the nails in wherever I see fit.
Now that her filling is complete, I have gone ahead and shaped and buffed them and got them ready for polish. I do have a reference picture. My client came in today and said, I have a picture for you and I know you can execute it and she already knows. So it took a little patience because I did want to do every finger different. So sit tight as we get this started. I am going in and doing my base first on a couple of the nails. And actually how I did the picture is I just grouped it off. So on one hand, I will do the top portion of the picture. And on the other hand, I'll do the bottom portion of the picture and just pull out different um, elements of the picture and put them on a nail. So I did go and strategically make sure I know what I was putting on each finger prior to starting. And once I got that out of the way, so I'm not scatterbrained, I went in with my colors. So I'm just doing a base on this hand and I will work from hand to hand, just making sure that I execute in the way that my mind is seeing it to be executed. So just sit tight. Y'all already know I'm using Beatles brand polish only as well as Beatles brand brushes. I absolutely love this line. I have not changed from it in the years that I have been using it. I am going to branch out one day, but for right now, I'm not branching out. I really love Beatles that much. So I'm just going in and y'all know I could use the brush that comes in the gel polish but i like to use my art brush because this is my girl she stays in my hand this is my magic wand and i just like to use her for even distribution sometimes when you use the nozzle out of the brush out of the polish um it it just leaves more product on the outer side of the nail it's just a mind thing for me so i just prefer to use my art brush so now i'm just going to go in and continue doing the details um of this set and y'all already know my tips for artwork less is more so the polish that i have on this brush as you can see i'm not redipping in any polish i'm just going through and executing the design until i see fit that i need a little more polish like there it's starting to get a little thin but because it is just a underlay on the design i'm trying also not to be so anal about every little bitty thing because i will go in and go over those lines a hundred times but this is one of my regular clients so i know in three weeks she'll be back to take this set off and she absolutely loved how this design turned out even though i wasn't as anal as i normally am when it comes to the design so i am looking at my reference picture i'm just going in and noticing those layers and executing this design when she got through she texted me hours later and was like you really ate this set up like i'm looking at every little thing and you ate it up so i'm gonna let you girls enjoy and if i have to y'all know i'm gonna come back in and let y'all know anything so sit tight and just enjoy an artist at work So one thing I wanted to point out when working with a reference picture is just making sure that you are 
actually looking at and zooming in on your picture because as you can see I am working from hand to hand and I just have to make sure that I'm putting my eye on the position that I'm going to work on next so I'll know what color I need and things like that so prior to starting the set on my polish dish I do go ahead and make sure that I have every color that I think I'm going to use because you don't want to waste time shuffling in your polish and trying to figure out what color you're going to use next so prior to starting the set once she gave me the reference picture and I do like to add before I even get to the point of doing polish just so I'll know so while doing the foundation I do ask my client is this something specific you want a color or anything like that before I go in totally and do a freestyle and at that time they'll send me the picture so that I can look at it and know what colors I need to pull out so just work smart and not hard and work with your time I do open my appointment slots for a certain amount of time so if my client books a fill-in freestyle or if they book a short or medium or long freestyle they are all allotted a certain amount of time and I have to make sure that I'm utilizing my time in the best manner so that I'm not running over or having to push any of my other clients back because I do service up to six clients a day sometimes more and I don't want them all to just be pushed back because that will make my schedule thrown off and I do not like to work in chaos so just make sure that you are utilizing all of your time so when I do something on one hand even if I need to do a flash cure I'm always looking at that picture and knowing what I'm going to do on the other hand just so that I can save time of course me and my clients talk and I can be in a full conversation to the point where you know we're just thrown off on time and I don't want to have a period where I ever stop moving so learn how to talk and work at the same time that is a skill that you know as a nail tech we have to master and then just knowing what goes next so I do know always what I'm going to do next and it just saves me time and my clients love it you look so professional you look like you know what you're doing and they feel like they're in the best hands possible so helpful tips for the girls that I'm always 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 willing to give and now I'll let y'all get back to watching me create this masterpiece.
always remember when doing those intricate details that less is absolutely more so just take your time it's not going to look like a billboard but you do want it in the ballpark of looking exactly like the picture so take your time less is more and only use polish when you see you absolutely need to
Okay, and this is the final finger and design. I am wrapping up this set. It absolutely looks just like the reference picture. I love how these turned out so much. And once I finish this and cure it in the light, we will be completely done with this set. And here is the reference picture and the finished design. It turned out so, so good. If you want to see the exact reference and these nails again, then make sure that you come over to Facebook and Instagram and get an up-close look. Until next time, you already know what to do. Follow those socials.